Mo, we're a few days in here in Abu Dhabi. How much are you enjoying the experience? Yeah, I mean, it's a great country. Um, really enjoying the sun out here and, and just being able to ball outdoors is, is pretty good. Um, we've had a few good days training and that's going to hopefully put us into good stead coming up into the two day tomorrow. It's been a difficult period for you over the last couple of years. Do you see this season as quite pivotal in your career development? Yeah, yeah definitely. I mean, pivotal is a, a great word to use. I think it's uh, it's it's my career needs a, a bit of a boost and, and hopefully this year can give that by playing a bit of first team and making sure that you know I'm on top of my skills and I'm giving myself the best opportunity to go out there and play first team cricket. You spent the winter in Australia in Adelaide. How important was that in terms of your work that you've been doing? Yeah, I mean it was very, very important, you know, to go out there and get some cricket with the injuries that I've had over the past couple of years. It was important that I got some overs under my belt. And the cricket was really good out there. I really enjoyed my experience. I played for East Torrens, which you know, had a really good uh, family like club set up, and uh, it was really, it was really, really enjoyable. In terms of life skills, I, I guess you learned a lot as well about your own, your own self. Absolutely, and you know, you have to cook for yourself. You have to do everything for yourself. And you know, I'm, I'm a young man now, so I'm, I'm quite mature in that sense. So yeah, that was, that was very, very helpful. You know, staying with another family out there was a, a good learning experience. Learning about the culture, um, learning about you know Australian citizens. Uh, it was, it was quite an enjoyable experience. And when you look around here, there's some fantastic talent. You know, there's a real challenge for places. Does that excite you to be part of that challenge, trying to break into the first team squad? Absolutely. I mean, you look at the balls we've got in the setup: um, Ryan Sidebottom, Jack Brooks, uh, Liam Plunkett. You know, you're going to be playing first team cricket if you're playing well, um, and you know it's, you're going to have to be playing well to, to play first team cricket. And you look at the youngsters coming through as well. You know, making you look over your shoulder, making sure that you you are performing well, or making sure that you're playing really, really well in the second team to play first team cricket. I know you've been suffering recently with a side strain, but how are you feeling at the moment? Yeah, it's, it's getting better. Um, you know, with every ball, I think it'll be much better. And you know, the more overs I get under my belt, the better I'll feel, and the the more conditioned I'll be to bowl. And what goals have you set yourself for this season? I just want to play as many games as I can for the first team, uh, whether that's Championship One Day or T20. You know, I like playing One Day in T20 cricket, and I've had um, success. Um, a few years ago, so hopefully that can be my way into the first team. Um, but if not, I'd love to play obviously championship crickets where, where it's at, and you know we want to win the second championship uh, in a row. The support staff here are second to none. You know what advice have they given to you over the last few weeks? Yeah, I mean it's just to go out there and enjoy yourself. You know, enjoy cricket. Don't put too much pressure on yourself, and and to give yourself the best opportunity to play first team cricket, um, and that's by racking up performances and taking wickets. And the important thing is you, you do feel you're in a good place at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I had a good uh, tour to Adelaide. Um, you know, it was a, it wasn't it was a bit of a hiccup having an injury, and and that's obviously comes with the territory. It comes with being a fast bowler. So you know, I've overcome that, and hopefully, I can just get conditioned to to bowl a lot of overs now.